Welcome to part two of my demonstration video for my product, Poker Tournament ICM++. It is an ICM calculator that runs on your iPhone. To find it in the App Store, uh, you can find it under using the keywords ICM Rodman, Rodman being my last day, uh, name. If you uh, I would, if you haven't, I would like you to watch part one of the video as you really may not understand what's going on in this video without uh, looking at the prequel to it, if you will. What we're going to uh, discuss in this video is a bubble factor analysis feature. So let's move ahead to the slides on that. And let's talk about what bubble factor analysis is. Uh, it's used for push fold decisions. Uh, what it is, is the ratio of the dollar damage of chips lost over the uh, benefit of, the dollar benefit of winning the same number of chips. And since, according to ICM theory, chips lost are always hurt you more than chips won't help you, uh, the, I, the uh, bubble factor will always be greater than one. It is used in practice to compute, I'm sorry, I've got these bullet points backwards, to compute true dollar odds from pot odds in making decisions. Uh, this, For those who are not familiar with it, I understand that there's a little bit of arithmetic in this, and it may not be uh, immediately easy to grasp. I would refer everyone to the book, uh, Kill Everyone, and that's published by Huntington Press. You can also, you can find it on Amazon.com, and it's the best coverage of the uh, bubble factor. I did not invent bubble factor, that's for sure. Uh, it is the best coverage of the bubble factor I have found, uh, and it's also probably my favorite. It is my favorite tournament book, and I would advise uh, all tournament players to give serious consideration of investing in it. It's not very much. Uh, research bubble factors, poker on the web to get more insight into it. Uh, bubble factors are used, uh, for example, we could use them in a race decision. Let's assume we had a race decision of uh, where you're getting pot odds of one to one, then you get it and you're 50% or, or approximately so to win a race. What would you use it for? Well, a bubble factor is uh, one stack has a bubble factor against other stacks. So, for example, you can select the bubble factor. Uh, that you would like to choose here. So we could say, what is bubble factor uh, for this? What is a bubble factor of the $700 stack against the $3,500 stack? And what it is is it's 1.1. So you would need, uh, instead of being 50-50 uh, uh, against somebody, you would have to actually multiply your required equity times 1.1 1 .1, uh, to get the correct pot odds to call. Again, this can all be researched online to give you a better idea if it's a little bit confusing. Against the $6,300 stack, it's a little bit more, and against the uh, the uh, $9,500 stack, it's it's uh, 1.27. Uh, now I can select the different stacks here. For example, if I want to see the bubble factors of the $6,300 stack, I would just click on the button, and at that point you can see. Against a $700 stack, he doesn't lose. He's 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 not in extreme danger of going heads up with him because he'll only lose $700 chips. Again, so he's only slightly he's hurt only slightly worse than winning the $700 chips would benefit him. So he is a, a small bubble factor of 1.04. Uh, here's a neat feature: if you simply turn your phone sideways, uh, you can see you'll see a matrix the calculation for all the bubble factors of all the players against all the other players. So the 700 against himself is non-A, is N-A non-applicable because it doesn't make sense. Against the uh, 3.5 player, he's got a 1.10, which means he would need to have slightly better odds to call against that, that stack. And he'll need somewhat greater odds, and you can use a bubble factor to figure that out to call against the 9.5 stack. You can do this with your finger, too, and these little highlights will come up here and show you, uh, uh, show you uh, just to make it easier to find in the grid. So, for example, looking at the big stack, he doesn't lose very much if, if he lets the small stack double up. Uh, so he's got a small bubble factor of nearly one. However, if he uh, lets the big stack double up against him, he uh, takes quite a hit. So in that case, you would have to multiply his required pot odds by 1.39 to make, give him a just call. Now, if the uh, second stack, for example, is already in the money, were to go against the big stack and bust out, you can see he's got quite a large bubble factor. 
So that's basically how bubble factors work. Uh, this is not meant, again, to be a course on bubble factors. This is just an implementation of the calculator and to show you how it works, and there's plenty of other research for it. Um, let's move ahead. So again, my app runs on the iPhone and the iPad. On the iPad, it would run in the iPhone simulator. To find it in the App Store, uh, search for ICM space Rodman. I am Jerry Rodman. Please watch part one of the video if you have not already, and thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy the product.